unable to understand what they are reading on that time so i how can we start their journey of the english because everybody just wants to learn our english but uh, and the how that is the question rise up to every mind how so that is the question uh, ca- how can we start what is our first step and you know what uh, when i started learning spoken english i did this one thing that i used to take one topic like a very small topic let's say uh, my laptop or my school then i used to speak on that topic for 2 to 3 minutes and that would improve my spoken english so these are the things that i did and i also um, and i also think that reading is a good way to improve uh, i'm from the state of chatisgarh i live in the town of bilai and what about you uh, i'm belong to uttar pradesh and i'm staying here in kanpur hmm okay great okay mm, so would you like to tell me about yourself Uh, first of thing i would like to introduce myself thanks for giving me this opportunity well my name is amansi bajpayee and in sel uh, last year i completed my master of art from the subject of english literature and then i went to mahavir vidyalaya university at kanpur and now i am just doing a job like a trainer of the english trainer i just teaching a student of the english trainer who just want to learn english okay Gee, that's great yeah okay and now let me tell you something about myself Um as you know my name is Arundhati Roktima I'm 13 years old right now I study in grade 8 and um I live in Delhi I already told that and my hobbies would be reading books and painting Wow it's good Actually your age is not uh, elder that so I'm just uh, very I was I'm watching your video I just started wow what the English of yours Thank you Uh, I just want to know uh, that is any background of the English. I mean, you just study of the English medium school. Uh, yeah, I study in an English medium school. Okay, so all students are average. Yeah, you are much better than. Mm, I feel like in theoretical grammar. I mean, in the exams when we have to write the theory theory of grammar, then everyone is. Okay, they're good, but when it comes to spoken English, I feel like I am a little better than the others. because okay. we don't really talk in english at school so uh, we don't have a practice at school for spoken english so that's why yeah actually i have uh, watched a really lot of videos uh, for the conference so that's why i'm excited to just making a video with you okay so tell me uh, which topics we have to just improve by english for my audience mm, i couldn't get it could you just repeat that Yeah, I'm saying uh, which topic we we have to do this for our improving our English. I feel like we should focus a little bit on improving our grammar so that we just know the basic grammar, uh, like nouns, verbs, and especially I would say active passive voice and uh, verbs like would and could, modal verbs, and all these things are important because then you'll be able to form your sentences properly. And then I feel like um, speaking on some topics would be better. because then you'll be able to improve your spoken english and i feel like we don't really need to learn very deep and uh, very complicated grammar we just need the basic things and we have to practice spoken english and you know what when i started learning spoken english i did this one thing that i used to take one topic like a very small topic let's say uh, my laptop or my school then i used to speak on that topic for 2 to 3 minutes and that would improve my spoken english so these are the things that i did and i also um, and i also think that reading is a good way to improve your yeah. english yeah yeah uh, echo uh, what's the vocab power how is hmm. the vocab i think reading because when you read you get many new words and then you'll be able to understand that how, what is the meaning of the word and how to use that word in a sentence so reading can help a lot yeah uh, as like a lot of people are here uh, they are unable to understand what they are reading on that time so i how can we start their journey of the english because everybody just wants to learn english but uh, and the how that is the question rise up to every mind how So that is the question. Uh, can, how can we start? What is our first step? 
Hmm. So English is not an overnight journey. We need to take a little time. We need to spend yeah. our time on this. And we just need to start from the basics. Like if you want to read a book, if you want to start reading an English book, then you should take a children's book, a fairy tale or something like that, that is made for children. Because if you're not a native speaker of English, you do not know anything of English. You're like a child in the sense of English, right? Yeah. So you yeah. can start reading from children's books. So that will help you improve your improve your reading skills. I think that is a good way. Yeah. Uh, as my point of view, as a moral story book. Yeah. And standard of the fourth and the five uh, standard class. We can just learn that. Yeah. Uh, what are your opinions on this topic? How should people start learning English? I think uh, if uh, people really want to just to become a fluent, then they just uh, fix their target. If anyone target has a fix, because if you have a target, what's your target to achieving that goal? So I think that the situation is uh, giving a lot of help for uh, getting the target. So I think you first you have to just find your target. What's your level? And uh, everybody knows that what's my level. So mm -hmm. just start your level because nobody can suggest you just you have to do this. You have to do that. But if you know that what's my level and uh, how can we just become a fluent that you just doing a your impact, you're doing a your well. So that things like uh, it's my point of view that is OK for everyone. Just use their words and power. And uh, as you mentioned, the reading power, that's very good because before sometimes we, we are unable to just read that we are unable to get the point. What is the means of that point? So we yeah. just first we know that, yeah, we have to just uh, learn the topic and we just take out the meaning of that meaning what they what the lines are saying so yeah. is my point of view that's very important for us hmm, i totally agree with that yeah and yeah. Being a, uh, like a goal that you want to achieve then you you are able to visualize that what you yeah. have to do in order to achieve that goal so that's a good way yeah 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 and the vocabulary power is also very important because in this time we all are using a very beautiful idioms in our conversation Mm -hmm. So I think uh, vocab power is also gives a lot of impact to the lot of people. So we have to just use a different type of book of the daily conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you know, the one thing with vocabulary and idioms is that non-native speakers are, not, are sometimes can get confused that if it's an idiomatic expression or if they actually mean it. Like yeah. let's say, let's, uh, let's take an idiom that um, it, it's raining cats and dogs. So if you're a yeah. really beginner in English, you do not know anything about English, then you might think that it is actually raining cats and dogs from the sky. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, that uh, scene also happened with me when I'm just asked to someone what is the meaning of the dog, D O G dog. Everybody mm -hmm. knows that the means of a dog is called to kutta. But mm -hmm. do you have, remember the when another another way of the dog? Do you have any another words? I can't remember anything. Yeah, actually, the uh, the means of a dog, dog have a three purpose. One thing is a noun and one thing is a ad, uh, adjective and one thing is a verb. If we're talking about the noun, that is the means of the kutta. Yeah. If we're talking about the adjective, that is the means of nafrat. And we're talking about the verb, that is the means of the picha karna. So that is three different way of the dog. So when I'm just asking to anyone, everybody has to go to confuse it. What is the, yeah, that is a real, then they find the Google. Yeah, absolutely, this is a real. So that is a dog, the purpose. So the means of the dog, picha karna, grana karna, and a lot of things are happening. And as the same meaning of the belong to the category of the cat, what is the means of the cat? Everybody knows that the cat means the billy, but that's yeah. called animal book as, but if we're talking about the cat, means a dangerous swimmer is also. Oh, <laughs> this is a new information to me. I learned it today with you. That's great. Uh, yeah, we can say that. So that, uh, there's a lot of it's talking about it because I am just teaching uh, of my students and I have a lot of words to teach them. So that gives you a lot of help also. Mm. Uh, OK, so which standard you are? I'm in eighth standard. Wow. Um, OK, so is there a lot of your parents just making a video of the YouTube? <laughs> yeah, they know it. Yeah. OK, because uh, they also feel proud to you to you. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so what's about your friend journey? Hmm. Uh, so you're asking in the sense of English or just general? Uh, general, if you're talking about the English, that is also okay. Okay, so I think that uh, my friends, um, they, they do not really focus on spoken English, but I feel like I have had some influence on them now, I guess. Yeah, yeah, because when a lot of people just uh, 
watch you then they said no oh, yeah i can also speak in english yeah hmm. so there is this friend of mine who uh, always talks in english in school because she is south indian and she is not really comfortable in hindi so i think she has also helped me a lot in spoken english okay so uh, what's your native language uh, it's hindi it's hindi okay okay yeah. okay Okay, so you are aware of the Hindi also. Yeah. Okay, Hindi and the English and another language you know that? Ah, uh, yeah, I know Bengali as well a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, what are the yeah. languages that yeah. you know? Sorry. Ah, uh, what are the languages that you know? Ah, uh, I'm just uh, know that only two languages: Hindi and the English. and if you talk about english that is also i know that english everybody knows that the language of the english but yeah. uh, if you're talking about the i think uh, you don't hear the word like with stenography hmm no i've never heard of it <coughs> that is a coding language that's oh. a coding language we can just uh, understand for the writing language we just write something then we can understand it's not a spoken language this is a written something or language the coding okay. language nice uh, yeah So, okay. is there anything you would yeah. like to ask? Uh, I think that is enough. And do you want to ask anything? No, I don't have anything on my mind right now. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so can we cut the session right now? Uh, yeah, it was great talking with you. Okay, thank you for joining me. You're welcome. I I was really glad I could have a conversation with you. i am also because uh, i am very eager for this because i am sending a lot of email to you uh, yeah. that's just uh, yeah i am very eager for this okay 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 thank you bye 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 okay